John F. Kennedy once said, our progress as a nation can be no swifter than our progress in education. More than three decades later, his words still ring true. In today's complex world, we're finding success in life often begins with success in school. In life, it is said there is one constant, change. In the past few years, this country has seen a tsunami of this constant in every facet of our republic, especially the economic one. While business owners and industry leaders desiring to keep people working are being forced to find creative and innovative ways to stay in business, those in the business of educating America's healthcare workers are finding creative and innovative ways to prepare their students to meet a projected workforce shortfall. With some estimating a need for more than 100,000 qualified professionals in the next decade, according to Dixie Took Rollins, Dean and Executive Vice President of the Edward Via College of Osteopathic Medicine, getting the right education is key to a promising career in medicine. While we might look like any other medical school in the country, it's our mission that makes us unique. There's an increasing physician workforce shortage throughout the country, but this will be felt most in the rural and the socioeconomically depressed areas. VCOM's mission addresses that by producing physicians for the Southern Appalachian region and the tobacco regions. Uh, our students train and provide free care in these areas on a weekly basis. It's important with an increasingly diverse society that our students learn to care for a diverse population. And we uh, provide international medical missions that teach our students to care for the people that are most in need. While a lot of people have a mission like this, uh, it's core to this school. We walk it, we breathe it, that's what we do. While many medical schools have increased enrollment to produce more physicians, the Edward Via College of Osteopathic Medicine has chosen to focus on filling the gaps in the healthcare workforce in medically underserved communities and for medically underserved populations. By focusing on these underserved segments of our society, whether they are rural, elderly, or underserved ethnic populations, VCOM believes this unique, real-world approach to education better serves our country and better positions its graduates for a successful career in today's new healthcare system. VCOM has taken a leadership position in outreach. We're focused in two areas. The first is the Appalachian region. The second is in global health. In the Appalachian region, we're literally seeing thousands of patients on an annual basis, working in free clinics. Also focused on prevention with presentations in public schools and to community groups. In global health, we literally see 150 to 200 patients each day in three clinics located in Honduras, El Salvador, and the Dominican Republic. In El Salvador, we have an added dimension of a mobile clinic. Our goal is to prepare the future physician to work globally as well as locally, and through the global experience, they develop compassion, a caring spirit that they will implement wherever they are practicing medicine. At the end of the day, even in tough economic times, the vast majority of people choose a career in healthcare because they sincerely desire to help others. For over 100 years, osteopathic medicine has embraced healthcare for the whole person. This approach expands beyond treating a specific infection or disease to working with each patient to restore them to a healthy state. The VCOM Medical Missions provide students with real-world experiences and skills to address healthcare disparities wherever they exist, in rural locations, minority populations, or in the face of poverty. High technology and high fidelity simulation, as well as clinical skills, is an emerging educational model in medical education. VCOM is at the cutting edge in both of these arenas. Clinical skills utilizes live actors to simulate medical conditions to train our students to become excellent clinicians. They are both graded in the humanistic and biomedical domain. High fidelity and high technology simulation utilizes pediatric simulators, OB simulators, as well as adult simulators to simulate both emergent as well as community or clinical based uh, scenarios. Combining both of these makes excellent clinicians, which is our mission at VCOM. Patient-centered medicine, the whole patient and the body's innate ability to heal itself have been core fundamental principles of osteopathic medicine. 
Clearly, MDs and DOs both focus on evidence-based medicine as far as pharmacologic and surgical procedures go. We really partner with the patient and take care of the whole patient, focusing on returning that patient to health. And in that, we consider their mental health, their spiritual beliefs, even financial obstacles and individual concerns they have about their health. We feel that in preparing our students with these core fundamental principles, they will be well prepared to take care of the patient in the future. To serve as an advocate for osteopathic medicine, for rural health, and for affordable, accessible health care for the medically underserved, this is Edward Via College of Osteopathic Medicine.